This SKF training film is about self-aligning ball bearings. The self-aligning ball bearing consists of two rows of balls secured and separated on the inner ring by the cage and a sphered outer ring raceway. There are two types of self-aligning ball bearings, those with a parallel bore and those with a tapered bore. This film concentrates on the tapered bore type because they're mounted and dismounted in a particular way. The parallel bore types are mounted and dismounted with the same procedures as used for deep groove ball bearings with a parallel bore. They're commonly used in applications like mixing, blending and stirring machinery, also in intermediate shaft positions and fan applications, where the ability for self-alignment is important and the loads are relatively light. For the mounting of the self-aligning ball bearing with tapered bore, SKF supplies a lock nut spanner kit that ensures the correct bearing adjustment is achieved. Make sure that the work area is kept as clean as possible. Use some light oil on the mating bearing surfaces. Do not remove the bearing from its package until everything is ready for mounting it. In this case, the self-aligning ball bearing is mounted on an adapter sleeve. Put the bearing on the sleeve in its appropriate position. Screw on the lock nut, but without the lock washer. Hand tighten the lock nut by using the lock nut spanner until bearing and sleeve grip the shaft. Then mark the shaft at the start of the orange adjustment range. Using the handle, turn the lock nut spanner up to the end of the adjustment range. The correct bearing fit will have been achieved. Remove the lock nut and replace the lock washer. By securing the nut back on the sleeve and by bending one of the lock washer tabs into a matching slot in the nut, the correct mounting procedure for self-aligning ball bearings with tapered bore is completed. To dismount a self-aligning ball bearing, start by unbending the tab of the lock washer and back off the lock nut with a turn. Place a suitable steel segment behind the bearing and with some sharp hammer blows, the bearing will be driven off the tapered sleeve, releasing it from the shaft. The self-aligning ball bearing is supplied with a predetermined amount of radial internal clearance. When driving the bearing up the taper seating, take care not to drive it too far so removing all of the internal clearance as this will impair the performance of the bearing and dramatically reduce its life.